Anthony's here with a good story coming up about pictures. Hi, Anthony. Hey, Nora. <laughs> New York City is a people watcher's paradise, of course, as Gail explained. From food vendors and street musicians to the powerful and the powerless, it can also feel like a sea of anonymity. Jim Axelrod caught up with a photographer getting to know the humans of New York one by one. For the last three years, Brandon Stanton has been pounding the New York City pavement in search of the perfect stranger. Hey. How are you guys? Um, My goal is in a very short amount of time using just a few amount of questions to find out something about that person, something personal. What would you say your greatest struggle is right now? What surprised you about Molly as you've gotten to know her better? So why are you in a bad mood? I think Stanton, a former bond trader with no artistic training. I might photograph you while you're thinking too. Takes photos of the people he meets and posts them on his blog, Humans of New York along with a vignette about each one. The results range from the bizarre to the bittersweet, a dying husband's words to his soon-to-be widow. And he said, take the love you have for me and spread it around. He wished he'd gone to college. She just broke up with her fiancé. Meeting new people frightens him. They're telling you these deeply personal issues in their life. Isn't that amazing? The fact that people are so willing to disclose shows you how much we avoid talking about these very serious issues in our everyday lives, I think. God, you guys look great. I'd rather something be absolutely honest, unscripted, and trivial than stage managed and profound. You're looking for some authenticity. Exactly. And that's when I know that I have what I was looking for. What Stanton has found is a remarkable following. Two million people worldwide read the blog and its intimate depiction of the most diverse city on earth. I took a full body shot of her. This post generated more than 500 Facebook likes in the first minute. It'll probably end up at about 35,000 likes. Are you a journalist? When you say journalist, it's like, oh, how many, how many sources have you fact checked? You know, how, when you say photographer, it's why are your photos a little bit out of focus? You know, the answer is because I don't care. I like to call myself a storyteller so that I don't have to worry about other people's definitions of what correct work is. His work became a book which landed the top spot on the New York Times bestseller list. Hey, when it, now you, the humans of New York stop him on the street. That looks like him. Yeah. Oh, that was very exciting. It's like a celebrity. I don't know there's any way I can take your photograph. It's a very intimidating thing to approach strangers. And having somebody do that in your stead and learning these stories of these people, yet yeah, having somebody take that risk for you and just kind of being able to enjoy the benefits of it is a very powerful feeling, I think. Powerful for both the author and the humans he profiles. For CBS This Morning, Jim Axelrod in New York. His approach, though, is so great just to walk, because listen, Everybody has a story. Yes. Yeah. And they just want the opportunity in most cases to tell well, it. Well, it's so interesting because it's a form of street photography yeah. in effect, but but it's uh, usually street photographers kind of try to stay invisible. Yeah. And he kind of breaks through he's that right and he actually meets face. the person. Well, and he's clearly a, uh, not only a photojournalist, but yeah. he's also reporting the stories that they have to tell, which well, is a yeah. wonderful, you know, a representation of New York City. And what's interesting also is that while they're each individually small stories, cumulatively, they are an enormous story. Yes. The story of a city. Humans in New York. I like it.